Hi everyone, I've been trying to get into Dwarven Machinery, so I decided to give myself a challenge and I've built a automated minecart shotgun, so I thought I'd make a video of it and show everyone how it works. So, starting at the top here, you can see the load chamber, and I'll go over some of this stuff later on. And then a few levels down, there's the blast chamber where there's um, a couple of trolls on their way in and I have a bunch of caged goblins I was going to use for testing purposes but didn't really need to in the end and then if you look down here I've got the machine floor this is really the heart of the machine that controls the uh, minecart delivery system and the minecart return system that takes the minecarts back up to the very top level because what you have at the very top is three tracks and then they go down a level to a load state, which is where we see right now at the top of the screen, there's three minecarts sitting on three hatches. And if we go down another level, you can see the minecarts have a sort of a raceway, and all three tracks end up merging onto a single track, which slams into a wall at the end and then fires goods down here. What happens next is if the, the, the minecarts then drop down a hole at the end of the wall and then race along this little raceway where they each are divided um, using doors and pressure plates into their own uh, return path that pushes them back up to the top where they end up on their stops and are refilled with various goods by the dwarfs. So in this situation the dwarfs are filling the carts with gold bars because they're very heavy and it's kind of funny I got 2,000 of them. Trap weapons and because um, giant flying balls and copper and discs of steel sound pretty cool and um, arrows because I've got tons of them and they they make quite a useful trap weapon I figure for flinging at bad guys. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit on the machinery because I, I, I'm pretty proud of it. So the machinery is comprised of seven um, memory cells and there's about half a dozen different triggering events on pressure plates elsewhere in the, um, in the, in the shotgun. So at the bottom you've got three um, minecart memory cells which are currently on that indicates that the machine is loaded um, they're triggered when the minecarts are pushed off their um, loading platforms into the holes where they, they sit waiting on top of hatches then on the top left or the middle left you've got a, um, a, a, a sort of a, a loaded state indicator and that triggers the trigger um, indicator and the trigger indicator basically is now primed so that um, uh, when a goblin or what have you steps on one of the pressure plates in the load chamber, um, this weapon will fire. If the load state um, mechanism wasn't working, then, then stepping on the mechanism doesn't do anything. So at the fire state, the hatch is open and so on. Um, and then there's another, at the very top, there's a memory state cell that changes when, um, for the bridges, it opens and closes the bridges, which give access to the chamber. So when the machine is loading, um, goblins can't access the fortress. When the machine is loaded, then goblins can walk into um, the blast chamber and get shot. And then the middle two memory cells control um, the doors on the return. I'll try and show a full cycle of this um, at some point as well. So let's have a look at the chamber again. There's a couple of trolls here and on the surface there's a whole bunch of other invaders. So we'll try and show a few examples of this whole system working. So they go down here. This is like one of the main entrances to the fortress. And off to the left is kind of a raceway. Any trolls that manage to escape um, through the shotgun blast chamber will um, make it into some traps and what have you. So that's what happens when this, this guy triggers it. So troll steps on the pressure plate. That immediately does a few things. Over on the machine floor, the trigger is now triggered. So that far right memory cell, there's now a cart sitting on a pressure plate, which is um, triggering um, the hatches to open. So if I go back here, you'll see the, the mine carts are no longer on their, on their tracks, on those hatches, and now they're falling down. So let's watch the mine carts for a second. So they are accelerated down this path. I'm using a kind of a, an exploit that has been discovered that is a cause by a bit of a failure 
a bit of a bug, I suppose, at Dwarf Fortress right now. Um, rollers obviously accelerate uh, minecarts, um, which are great, but they require power and can be a bit fiddly to set up or time consuming. But people have discovered that, an, that a, a ramp, a track, a constructed track ramp, um, can also accelerate a minecart. So this is a north south track. If I build a north or a west or a, sorry a south west south east either one of those ramp, what happens is a minecart hits it, stops because it derails, but it derails from the top of the ramp and then falls down. So essentially a string of ramps act as a massive accelerator to the um to the minecart. And I guess it's a little bit cheaty, but it's the first time building the machinery and really all I wanted to worry about was was building all the machinery. I didn't want to have to fiddle around also installing rollers and changing all the configurations because if you mess this up, um, the timing um, of the of the devices can get really fiddly. You need to make sure the minecarts are spaced out so that various events can happen in the machinery without causing problems. So, first minecart. It's accelerating. I'm pausing as we go. And now it's going to slam into that wall and, and cast its goods. So we've got a few gobble, a few trolls coming here. Uh, let's unpause it and watch the effect. That's the first lot being hit with gold bars. And there's blood and guts everywhere. Let's have a look at the combat logs. Okay, so gold bars striking the troll, bruising muscle, striking the leg. Oh, someone's leg skids along the ground, someone's upper arm skids along the ground, bruising the bone, slammed into an obstacle. Cool, that's a pretty choice. Um, let's have a look what we've got here. I had troll in extreme pain, troll in pain, unconscious, troll in pain. And I think that actually might be the leg there of some troll. It might be actually yeah, a horn. Awesome. Gold bar knocked the horn off one guy. So, two more carts are coming. They're on these loops to delay them, basically, and to merge them onto the single shotgun barrel. I probably could have just built three barrels in a row, um, but I just thought it would be cooler to do it like this. The first cart is now down the bottom of a hole, and it's going on a little kind of raceway journey here, and it's going to end up going up to the surface again. But I just want to check out how those other carts are going. So he's going back, pausing, I'm pausing just to keep an eye on it. Accelerated. This is the second cart full of trap weapons. Oh, um, I have turned off uh, all these cage guys. I've, I've released them. Um, so that's great. I'm really pleased it happened in time for them all to be shotgunned. Um, this is a pretty good demo of the capabilities of the weapon. And here come a bunch of trap weapons. Uh, you probably noticed, I'm just pausing it for a second, um, the bridges cycled. Uh, and the bridges cycling thing is to um, um, you know, trap these guys in there while they get shot. And boof, there's a whole bunch of various weapons. Not a very full cart, that one. And then down at the bottom level, the last one's coming. And at the very bottom level, um, probably haven't seen it, but one cart has already transited up to the very top and is currently sitting there waiting to be filled up again. Behind it, a door will close very soon. Let me just check the other one. It's still going. So a door will close very soon on that track. There it goes. So now the very top track can't be reached by the second cart. So the second cart will be routed onto his own um, route. And the final cart is coming. This one's just full of, like, not much, actually. I kind of messed that one up. Figurines and stuff. Let's just have a look at these combat logs, because I love it. Let's have a look at a goblin pikeman. Hit by a warhammer in the leg, chipping the bone. Awesome. Got another goblin pikeman. Hit by a bunch of flying copper bolts. Hit by a bow. Mm. I've had some real issues separating trap weapons from normal weapons. It doesn't really seem to like doing it. For some reason, I think it might be a bug. Silver warhammer. Hit him. Awesome. Stunned. What else have we got in here? A goblin maceman hit by a bow, hit by some bolts, hit by an iron maul. Loses hold of his shield, slams into another goblin. Smashed, tendons opened, gives into pain. Cool. And there was a troll or two right at the top. The trolls are pretty tough. This guy's been struck by an iron warhammer, flying silver arrows, a bow, some bolts, some bolts, a bow, 
gold scepter strikes him in the lower leg, fracturing the bone. Awesome. I like using weaponized crafts. So yeah, finally something something useful to do with all those two thousand piles of gold bars. And the troll's tusk was knocked off. Wow, that's pretty cool. And his hand as well. Neat. So what happens now um, is all these guys are going to sit here feeling pained. Um, the bridges are back up because the weapon isn't armed. And then at the bottom, the last of the doors closes and the last of the minecarts is returned uh, to the surface. One, two, and three. So now at the top here, um, I'll just change my burrow assignment. I've got a burrow specifically for this for this weapon. So all around here is all the ammo. Uh, I've got food and stores nearby, and I have some uh, dwarfs now rapidly filling these carts. Let's have a look at the cart process. So yeah, they're all busy, all busy doing their job. As you can see, uh, and if I go up a level, this is where I'm storing gold and crafts and bits and pieces. So I thought it might be cool to show the machinery in action. Um, at the bottom you've got uh, two carts are loaded. Oh, sorry, and uh, the third cart is uh, almost loaded. Let me have a look. Uh, it's taking its time. So with the machinery running, what you can see is there's power running through the mechanisms. Um, at the at the, the top or the leftmost uh, memory cell, two of the gears are activated, and the third gear is, there you go, now activated. Oh, okay, a whole bunch of things suddenly happened, so I paused it. Um, basically, the system activated, the trigger mechanisms flipped, the bridges were uh, opened and closed, and doors were opened. So actually, this should be the weapon firing. Um, I should be able to see, yeah, weapons in firing state right now. Whole bunch of stuff's going on. So it, you probably missed it because it all happens uh, pretty quick. But what happened was the um, memory cells were active. A couple of them are actually in a transition state right now. They do occasionally hover slightly um, as, as gears are engaged and disengaged, but they always end up in the right position. So the um, load state ones return to off, the trigger returns to off. The bridges remain um, closed until the whole thing's finished and loaded again, and the doors downstairs are set to open, um, and they will be incrementally closed as the carts pass through to the, the return mechanism. So let's have a look at the next shot. Carts are coming. We can just let them run. There's a bunch of goblins still running around in there, and they're about to get impaled with gold bars again, slammed into walls and what have you. And there should be a bunch of arrows and weapons and bits and pieces coming next. Oh, doors are open. Encourage the goblins to come. And are oh, they closed? Doesn't matter. And then splat. A whole bunch of weapons hurtle down there. And then we'll have... One of my moronic soldiers is going to try and charge that whole system. So hopefully the whole thing will close up before he gets there. Ah yes, good. Gates closed. Oh, no. silly soldier! You can't do anything. Where's that third cat? It's a little slow. Or oh, it has got stuck. Never mind. Occasionally things do break for unknown reasons. Sometimes there's a dwarf child in the way or a pit, so the cat gets pushed into them and slowed down, and you have to open everything to, open, to, to recover the cat and the body. But hey, that's all part of the fun with minecarts, right? But I think that probably demonstrates uh, everything for now. Um, have uh, have a good time. It's been fun doing this. See you later.